Uh, what is up YouTube and welcome to my next my next Pokemon walkthrough or let's play or whatever it is you want to call it. So we are playing Platinum today and I think this is my favourite Pokemon game. Well, all that I've played to be honest. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Um, yeah, I know all this. I've just I'm playing all of the games. Um, yes, I understand. Okay, right, so, basically, this is going to be pretty similar to my other one that I'm doing, uh, Pokemon Black and White. In fact, it's going to be pretty much the same, apart from showing a different game. Um, I don't know, how many times do you want me to press it? Right, so, what I'm, I still need nicknames for my Pokemon. I've got my full team of six planned out. As I said in my last, my last Pokemon Black and White part, I am not going to be using Charizard every time because it gets a bit boring for the viewers if I'm using the same Pokemon and not really any reason for me to use Charizard all that much because he is my favourite Pokemon but none of you guys are going to be able to you know get him really well I don't think you are but um yeah uh, I'm going to call him Barry you know why the hell not yeah, his name is Barry. I don't really like the name Barry. I apologise if any of you are called Barry, but one of my, like, my mum's cousin is called Barry and he's awesome, so. It's not, I'm not saying the people called Barry aren't awesome, but just the name Barry, you know, it's kind of a, you know. If you've ever seen The Misfits, you'll know why I think Barry is a pretty cool name, actually. But I just contradicted myself, didn't I? Okay, I like the name Barry now. I've just decided. It's a funny name. Right. I don't know why the hell my room is pink. Surely if you pick a girl it'd be pink. If you pick a boy it'd be like blue or something. And... <sighs> right. I still need nicknames for my team. I, I almost... I started saying that and then I got sidetracked because of his name. Right. So at the moment I have a full team of six planned out. I have a nickname for my starter, which you know you'll find out who that's going to be soon. And I have a nickname for another team member, which is a water type, and he's already been nicknamed. But you know, he wants to be nicknamed again, so you know why not? So that's so I have two out of six. So please, if you have, I need a female nickname, one that's 100% female, and then I need one that's maybe. Well, three others that could be either, because I don't know. I know I gather it's hard to think of a nickname if you're not even, if you're not, if you're not, if, Jesus, I, can't, I, can't, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. If you don't know what the Pokemon are going to be, then I gather it's hard to think of nicknames. But basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I want you guys to be named. So I don't know. Whatever the hell, just whatever YouTube YouTube name is, if it's a decent, if it's like okay to be used, or maybe you want your real name using. I don't, honestly don't mind what you want me to do, because I'm um, I just want to nick my Pokemon and you know getting you guys, even if it's just slightly involved, then that is you know that's good. So this um is gonna be. Yeah, I think you don't need Pokemon. I don't get why you can't just jump over that wall there above you. It's not like it's going to be 10 foot and you can't climb it because you can jump down it and that would break your legs. So, I don't understand. I don't get them ledges. I mean, you can bike off it but not up it. I mean, obviously you can't bike up a, le uh, a wall. But who the hell? This guy's supposed to be like 10 years old. You can't jump off walls on bikes. I don't. And like. You can jump over it, but not climb up it. I mean, okay, it'd be a bit, it'd be a bit stupid even having them there if you could climb up it. But, whoops, I click no. <laughs> it always seems to click no because I just click a rapid tap A and B when like all this stupid dialogue is coming on. So, you know, I can just every t every time it comes to answering, I always seem to be pressing B. Well, yeah, I press A then because I'm talking about doing it, so I know what I'm doing. I can't believe it's been five minutes already. Uh, 
I haven't even done anything. You know what I want to do actually? I need to change the, the menu so I can make the writing faster. And I think if you hold space bar. Oh no, maybe not. I thought if you held space bar it'd speed it up. I don't know, is this going faster? No, it's not. Okay, that didn't do anything. I thought maybe. I don't know, I swear, on swear sometimes if you hold space you can like speed it up a bit. But, um, you know, never mind, it's not too, it's not too bad. No, you can choose for. I don't want, no, I'll let you, I'd rather you can choose first. I'm going, no. What? Right, this is unfair because now he gets to choose the one that's good against me, which is ridiculous. No shit, the Pokeballs. Choose a Pokemon. There's Leaf Pokemon Turtwig, the Chimp Pokemon Chimchar, and the Penguin Pokemon Piplup. The Pokemon I am going to be going with is Turtwig. Because Turtwig is an epic Pokemon, and I haven't used Turtwig. I've used the Water type in my first one, and I've played through Diamond with Empoleon. And then I've played through Pat Platinum with Infernape. So. I've never used Turtwig and I'd, I've never really used any grass starters to be honest. Actually I'm using another grass starter in one of my other walkthroughs. Um, well you'll find out which one it is but there's Leaf Green, uh, Heart Gold and Emerald so one of them I'm going to be using a Leaf. One of them I'm going to be using a Leaf, one of them I'm going to be using Fire. Uh, no, two of them I'm going to be using Fire. One of them I'm going to be using Water and one of them I'm going to be using Grass. Hang on, wait. Oh no, I don't. what the hell am I on? No, I'm not. I'm not going to be using any. Oh, oh I, can't... I don't understand what I'm saying. How many's left? After this, there's three. There's emerald. There's emerald, heart gold, and so silver, and the other one. What is the other one? No, leaf green and thingy. So, oh, I've got. I'm going to lose this. <laughs> How embarrassing is this going to be if I lose this? I swear to god. If I lose this. Oh my god. Oh no. I am in trouble here. Unless... Oh, uh, if he doesn't kill me, if he doesn't kill me, one, I might be able to do this. Or if he just keeps using it. Yeah, I'll be able to do it. If he doesn't kill me, one, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh no. Ah, oh, that was absolutely pathetic. He used Leah four times and took seven HP off me. But that's I'm not sure if that's glitched or that's supposed to happen, but what the hell? Seven HP from four Leahs, that can't be right. I have a Turtwig's a beast, a complete tank. Oh that was came weird because I don't that that shouldn't happen. Oh, I'm not complaining, I mean it's better than getting taken out and looking alright. They're like looking right pillock on YouTube, but you know, I was I, th I thought I was gonna lose that battle then to be honest. But seven HP, that's that's pretty awesome. The only thing wrong with Turtwig is his speed is proper shocking. But I mean, there's a move like um, I think it's called Woodhammer, which is like a hundred and twenty power move, hundred accuracy, but lower speed. And since uh, Torterra has got like the crappiest speed in the world it doesn't even matter and then I think he learns curse which ups attack and defense and lowers speed and again speed you know you've failed along with speed aren't you so you don't really need that and um, I'm gonna take my oh where is he going is he fo why is he following me I think we're supposed to go to the lake and capture the legendary Pokemon with some level fives but Yep, I'm gonna capture this legendary. Yeah, let's see how that works out. I wonder if you had to actually what? If you actually had to try and um, capture this, it'd be couldn't even imagine trying to do that with. You know, you'd have to save it in front of it. You get one Pokeball, then you get KO'd, and then you have to keep turning it off and turn it back on until you got lucky and caught it in one Pokeball. I wonder how many times that attack. Like, what's it? What do you reckon? How many times do you reckon it'd take? Doing that, Poke one Pokeball from full health, no status problems. 
stir, status, you know, whatever. Tomato, tomato. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I might look, I might look at a percentage after this. Look at a percentage and see what, what it actually is. Because that's pretty cool. It's not pretty cool, I don't know. I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just said it was pretty cool and it's not. So, just head along here. And I'm not going to talk in the wild grass because then I'll get interrupted. Okay, I didn't. So, we are in the next town, which is Sand Gem Town. And you meet Dawn. You've already met Dawn. She tells you, shows you the Pokemon Center and the Poke Market. So, well, yeah, you, you should really, you should know what they are already. I would be surprised if anyone, what, okay, she didn't show you. What happened, I think she might show you after. So, basically, I'm just going to finish this. Yep, you can look at a Pokemon, he's already, seems to be rather happy, he's already building a bond with me. I think. Yeah, right, this is, um, the person, I am nicknaming this off. Nicknaming this after is a moderator on a forum I go on, and he asked me to call it this because he allowed me to put my thread there. And you know, well, this is the least I can do. I don't know how you pronounce it, I think it's Jenny or Genny. I'll, I'll show you after, I'll try and show you after. Maybe not, it's G E double N Y. And I apologize if I pronounce it wrong. It's a male, this Turtwig, so I know you're a guy, so. You know, it's the right, it's the right gender, but I think it's either Jenny or Genny. I, d I doubt it's Genny. I'm 99% sure that it's Jenny, but you know, I apologise to apologise if I've been saying it wrong. But yeah, my first Pokemon on my team, and he's a Turtwig, and he will be sticking with me. And Charizard will not, unfortunately, for this walkthrough. I'm not going to be using Charizard. Again, really. Maybe in Leaf Green, you know, it could be my starter. But I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know who I'm leaning towards more out of. Because all three of the Kanto starters are good, to be honest. So, you're not really. There isn't really a wrong choice in that. Well, there's not really a wrong choice in any of them. Apart from Meganium. Meganium sucks so bad. Although it's not even funny. Right, this, this has been a lot quicker than my other one, I think. Um, that's uh, return, I think. I might teach him that actually, it's a good normal type move. Well, when he likes you. When your Pokemon likes you, that's a good move. When he doesn't like you, then yeah, there's no point using it. Right, so now she shows you where the Pokemon Center is and the Pokemon Market. And I'm going to stop this video just as we are about to go into Route 2. I think it's Route 2. It must be route 2, because then, if it's not, I don't know what the hell the route is that we just came through. Yeah, we know all this, Dawn. We are much better trainers than you, so... Yeah. I don't know, she said, right, at the beginning she said, if I had picked... If I had picked Pipple up, we'd have the same Pokemon now. No, we wouldn't. If I had picked Pipple up, you'd have picked Ch Jim Charles, so don't give me none of that. Honestly, it's like... She thinks that... If I'd have picked Pipple up, she would have had the same, but she wouldn't. She'd have picked whatever is weak against me. So, right, um, that's it for the end of this. That's it for the end. That's it for this whole part, not just the end. That's it for this part. We're going to head up to Route Two next time. Let's see. First steps, you know. I don't know where the hell it starts, but yeah, Route Two is up next. And so, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I've tried to make my. I've tried to make myself a bit more enthusiastic you know because I've been told that I need to put, put a bit more like oomph into my voice because I am kind of I'm a really laid back guy so oh there it is a really laid back guy so you know it's hard for me to express my joy for the game in my voice but I hope you liked it anyway and it will see you in the next part uh, thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and yeah that's it peace